So here I am in Fort Langley, British Columbia, Canada, early in the morning, sitting in the parking lot, waiting for my buddy Stu to come and pick me up. We are going to Boston Bar today, which is about a three and a half hour drive, maybe three hour drive, I think, from where I'm at. And we're going to get some soapstone. Free, as I tell you guys in lots of the videos, the best wood to carve is free wood. It is. Well, guess what? Free soapstone's even better to carve because when you buy the shit, even if it's a buck a pound, it gets expensive. So I'm not gonna film driving there and wasting all the bullshit time and whatever video and kill my phone. I'll, f I'll film when we get to the, the vein. It's a vein in the side of a mountain along railroad tracks. This time I'm wearing my earplugs because it's a download slope for the railroad tracks. And the, when the brain, the brain, when the train hits its uh, brakes, it squeaks like hell and it's deafening. So I'm going to look for some air plugs and we'll go get some free soapstone. Okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yep. Look, Mom, I got some air plugs. Air plugs. Beaver skull. Beaver skull. Stu got me a beaver skull. That's gross. It needs to be buried for a while. Okay, so we're here at the soapstone place. Got the garbage can to fill up, a couple bags to put on top and bring it back down the railroad tracks with the dolly. Because today I don't have a wheelbarrow. Stu's taking a crap. Gemma, Gemma, where's Stu? Huh? We shall walk. Yeah, right. Mushrooms can sure grow in the weirdest places. Yeah, are these money mushrooms? Okay. Are these money mushrooms? No. What are these price tags? Yeah, $2. Oh, look at this piece. Yeah, right. Comes the train. What is that? What kind of stone is that? Um, it's soft. Sort of, yeah, man. some sort of calcite. I got a piece like that at home, sort of a bigger piece. That'd be cool carved. He could carve that into something. A little fucking fish or something. Yeah, he sells this stuff at... Yeah, uh, let's, get this, yeah, let's get some more of it here. See if somebody's dumped all their little ends and odds and ends here. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Piece of lace agate. Pretty cool that piece. Huh? Yeah, wicked. Gemma, come on. I hear a train coming. I like them in the dark. What those earplugs do? Hey, so like I'm already huffing and puffing and I don't even have any soapstone yet. That dolly was a stupid idea. See that concrete up there? Use that as a marker. We once again make it to the soapstone quarry. We arrive at the destination. There it is. This is like a nice piece. Stu said this is a big chunk of quartz here. It's all soap, lots of this soapstone down here. See, I don't like how those cliffs overhang, but that's all soapstone in there. 
Where'd you say that nice piece was, Stu? Uh, right there. Right here? No, just step over one, right there. Just, that's, that fucker's huge. That's all the nice stuff is right there, right? See this hardly, like this is all like crumbly and fractured. Yeah. That stuff there, that's where the good stuff's gonna come out of. Like up above there? Yeah, like right right in that. Yeah. That's, all, that? that's a big huge chunk of soapstone right there. Oh, the sulfur. What's that? All the little sulfur balls on the ground here from the train. Where? What are you talking about? All that yellow stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just falling off. That's that sulfur that they blew off, just blew off the rail car. Right? Yeah. See, I scrape it because that's how you can tell it's soapstone. If it scrapes, it's soapstone. my earplugs. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Boom, boom. That one. There's a nice piece too. Oh yeah, fuck. That's a beauty actually. How big it is. Let's go with... Oh, fuck. Sorry for the language, people. Sorry for the language. Look, Mom, it's a J for Jordy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even like going up where you're at there, Stu. Huh? Right by the side of the street. Look how smooth that is. Oh yeah, fuck. Isn't that neat, eh? Yeah, it's like glass. I where it came from though. I don't see it in here. Well, that stuff's probably dirty, that's why. See, I don't even like standing where Stu's standing because look, those rocks are overhanging, almost overhanging him right now. Last year, he climbed up there and he was chipping with a chipper or whatever, a hammer and a Chisel chipping big chunks of soapstone out of there, just crazy. There's a whole bunch of nice pieces right in here. There's that piece that looks really good right there, and those ones. There's a big chunk like right here, right below me. Yeah, there's a few pieces here, where? Right in here. Oh yeah, I see it. And this one right here. Here, right hold on. Here? Hold on, okay. let me get there. Right there. A nice big chunk of kind of half buried. Oh, that's a little stash in here is oh yeah, because I don't see any of this real shiny stuff like where it came from. Like but it's all been it's all been right here. So. Oh look at the colors of this one. Yeah. I don't know how much this is right down there already. Oh it's hard to see in that film but there too Jordy. Oh yeah. It looks like it came right from here, but I don't see that shiny green anywhere. Yeah, but it's because it's all dirty. Maybe, eh? Very smooth. Look at that, like, right up to Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at this piece here. Yep. Yeah. That piece there looks really good. Yeah, I know, but hold, oh, look at this big piece here. Yeah. Shape. That's a nice piece. Oh yeah, look at the colors. Yeah, but it just fell apart when I did that already. Yeah, then you gotta try and get it. Like, there's gonna be some oh. solidness somewhere, right? But that piece, I would try and pull that piece out of the oh. 
Okay, I gotta turn this camera off. Look at the colors in here. That's a, that's a beautiful piece right there. Yeah. Okay, so okay, I am Gemma. goddamn Gemma, by the way. out of hey. shape. But when you see white and stuff like this, that's quartz. So kind of bumpy. So that piece is definitely no good. Ow. There's lots of that colorful stuff under this tree here. Yeah. I'm looking for bigger pieces I'm though. Just trying to figure out where it all came from though. Look at that piece. Should I throw it down there or no? Well, but if you throw it, has go ahead. At least you know it's not going to break if you throw it. Hey, Stu. So why is this like brown rust stuff in here? That's like iron staining. It's got lots of iron in the rock. So it's just like rust. Iron, like steel iron, kind of? Yeah, like, it's like an iron ore almost. Like they were, I don't know if they, it's what grade it is, but that's what they would take to make like stuff with high iron content. They would use them for iron ore. Oh, that's yeah. when it goes like that. That's iron, that's staining. It's just, so it's just the, rock, the rock is rusting. Look at this nice piece right here. No, that's not that nice. No? From down here, it's all that. It's got nice lines in But it, it's all that shaley stuff that you're talking about. Look at this piece that your hand's on, buddy. Oh, I know, but how are you getting that back? This piece here, isn't that good? Well, that's what I, I asked you about that stuff, but you said it's... I don't know, that piece looks pretty good, actually. Looks shaley to me, man. Oh, is it? You never get that out of there anyways. It's got too much big chunks on it. There's a... Uh oh, there goes Stu. Oh, look at my out of shape. Wouldn't catch me climbing up there. Steady. Dark greens in there? No, but that's this is where it came from. There's all little pieces down here, so I don't know if it's maybe it's just covered and it might have come from here. It just looks like there's just kind of like dust all over it. Somebody's been up in here digging it out though. I don't know how far up there I want to go. <laughs> That's good enough, man. I, I don't. I, I'm not going to be able to drag you out of here. Yeah, it looks like nice stuff right there. It can come out pretty easily, but there's not really anywhere to stand up there. Yeah, like cliffs almost overhanging me right now. We'll just wait till next year to get that stuff when it's when it gets broken down by itself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like look at this huge. This is one big chunk of soapstone here. I wouldn't bother, Stu, like one little... That's a nice wedge there, but it might take the full face out. Yeah, I know, right? so... Forget it. You got some nice pieces out by that tree, though, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. But I want to get two, at least two big pieces for the waterfall thing. But you can see the scale. Look at Stu, how small he is compared to this. You know... Like a little, we're like little fleas, fleas on earth. And another thing too, you guys know how I talk about cottonwood bark being shaley? <clears throat> like when you're carving, it can shale off. Well, I know most of, you, most of you understand what I'm talking about, but some of you don't. So here's an example. Okay, see this rock, it's all twisty. But this is shaley. Boom, falls off in layers, right? That's shaley. That's a big piece there. But I definitely know this piece is going to be shaley. Ah. Okay, what's that, Stu? So I threw these pieces down and they seem to hold together pretty good. So they probably be pretty good for carving. There's not like a... Pieces break off of thin edges, but it's there's no like fractures in it. And like this piece here... You can see like this might break off a little easier, but this side looks really solid. So I think like if you took like a little um, 
mallet and just tapped around it before you carved and see what's going to break off first so that you know because you don't want to get halfway through your carving and a big chunk comes off so it'd be nice to know so you just take a little hammer thing and just kind of tap it as you go to see and then the pieces come off it's better to have them come off before you carve it than so it'd be best through. to do it on spot or you could yeah you could do it while you're here so the, to break the piece down so you're not lugging out so yeah much. yeah my problem is i'm so heavy hands i'll break the whole rock apart yeah we just got to give it like little taps and stuff let's see then then you're not taking as much rock out when you're not taking out the pieces that are no good yeah that that is actually so like even throwing the pieces down here helps to determine if it's solid or not yeah because i threw them down from up there up there this is actually like this yeah is another piece i threw down and it held together really quite well but no, maybe not because it's gonna. You can see that fracture and oh yeah, look, it just breaks apart. Yeah. What's that shit? Is that that iron stuff? I'm not sure. But yeah. see, that's why you got to check it first. Cause why? Why take that big chunk out and then you get it home and then yeah. it's just garbage, right? But it's looking pretty good. Now flip it back over again. You know that's yeah. A, so it might be solid now. Like that might have been the fracture yeah. lines in the stone. And, it's got cool and then that's in it too. Yeah. And then it gets to a solider piece. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, here's some of that really nice. Too bad this stuff doesn't stay together really well. It's beautiful. Yeah, I already got lots of this stuff at home. Oh, here comes another train. Which way is this That's one a coming? Nice piece. Yeah, it looks like somebody sawed it. That is a good little piece. I'll keep that one. Look at the colors in there. I wonder why there's a lot of that green here. I wonder if a bunch of it came Putting out. your earplugs in, man, or what? Is that train coming down this side? Which way do you think it's coming? Oh, it is coming this way. It's just my earplugs in, so. Oh, I don't like being underneath this thing when the train goes by either, so I'm getting the fuck out of here. Pardon my language. Sorry, guys. Look, these things, these things fucking fly off the trains and shit. That's not hitting me in the head. Or anywhere on the body. Stu, off to the mother load. Good job, <laughs> good job, Stu. Pretty strong trees, eh? <laughs> Still, when you get to the top, yell at me, let me know you made it safe, okay? What a great friend. Look at those rocks overhanging. Probably all the soap on the ground.
and he fucking makes it. Did you make it still? Oh, fuck yeah. Is that the stuff up there? Yeah, it seems to be. It was pretty fractured. That's where it's coming from, but other people chipped it out. That's why it's just little pieces down there. It just breaks off to pieces. It's pretty dangerous right here, too. Yeah, well, then maybe come down. You know, all that stuff looks loose, right? Yeah. But look at all that right there, how it's just all sloping this way, right? You make too much vibration, it could knock it just that last little rock out. Yeah, I'd come down then, man. Yeah, 20 minutes later, and Stu's still up there chipping away. I'm trying to get a big boulder out of there, that's where the nice stuff is. Still there. Look at this stuff. You guys see how shiny that is? It's like glass. You see the color in there? It's so soft too, this stuff. Okay, this is what we got. Garbage can full. Now it's time to wheel it back. God damn it. Hold on, Stu. What side are we gonna go on? That side of the tracks? Okay, so that's what we got, some pieces there, this big piece. This big piece can be like a mountain, a waterfall or whatever. So yeah, we're tired as hell and that's about it. Right, Stu? Right. You said you wonder if there's fish. Look at that trout, wild trout. That's a big fucker too. Oops, sorry for the language. See it right there? That's cool. Stu just said he wonders if there's fish in here. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. Have to bring those old uh, waterlogged root masses. <clears throat> Looks like a dragon going that way. Good old wood down there. Imagine how much trout's in this side. That was wicked. Where? Here. Oh yeah, okay. Right oh, there's another one. It's going the other way. See, yeah. Those trout, man.
Yeah, they gotta be spawning, eh? They are spawning, they got the humpbacks. Grab one, Stu. Take it home for dinner. This cool old root. Just might have to take this sucker home. More fish there? Yep. Got some cedar there. Cedar. Look at those old creepy roots. Creepy old cedar trees, creepy roots. And there you go, a self-standing cover wood spirit on here. I say hell yeah. Trusty old Dewalt battery powered. 20 volt saw. Hell yeah. Good investment. That's way deeper on this side, eh? Yeah, I don't like standing in the, the wildlife too much. Fucking. Pardon my language. Damn it.